Happy Valentine Day! It means it. Oh, going on a date. That's right, we yeah. are. We're going for brunch, you know. I booked us a table at the Ivy in Cardiff, which is new. And I wanted to go before, but we had no reason to, so. And plus, we always dress terribly, so I had to book it to give us an excuse, pretty much. I'm wearing a suit like this blazer with trousers to match and then knee-high boots which I'm actually not feeling at all and I'm feeling like it's very very year 2000 but my clothes are still in the garage and I picked this up in H&M outlet in Bridgend I thought it would look fabulous but the trousers are a size 14 tight on my thighs and loose around the waist and it's really annoyed me you would think that size 14 trousers would fit me when I would wear a size 10 or a 12 before but that's just female sizes for you, so. Blazer size 10, trousers size 14. And I'm not that much out of proportion to go two sizes up on the legs. Do you get me? When you start doing squats for like eight weeks in a row. It's more than eight your, weeks. Your bum gets bigger. But my, my bum hasn't got bigger, my legs have. You don't know, you Guys, haven't taken progression my legs picks. from the gym, huge. Actually huge, cause I just squat and lunge and split lunge, no split squat and Bulgarian squat. Well, anyway, all I do is squats and like that. I don't care anyway, I feel good in the gym, to be fair. But you'd think after weeks of like not getting dressed then finally getting dressed, that you'd be happy with how your clothes look. But it's fine, it's all good. I'm doing my makeup in the car and we go and eat some food. And then after that, what are we doing, Sid? We're going shopping. You're going shopping. I'm going shopping. Not mega shopping. Basically, I need to find polka dot sheer socks. You know how much I love my socks, right, guys? I love me some socks. And I need to find cute flat shoes. And I need to find a really nice sweatshirt. One that can be worn to like something smart. Because I'm going to London on Sunday night. Because on Monday, I'm going somewhere special, a family thing. And then I'm going to an event in the evening. Oh, did I not show you my nails? I had my nails done, guys. Cute, right? By the way, a lot of you guys have asked me what I ask for when I get my nails done like this. Basically, I just ask them to do the gel polish in like an almond shape, and then they just put clear polish on top. I don't actually have any gel polish on the gel nails because I like the color of the gel. And she put tiny little hearts on the, in the inner corners of my ring oh, fingers. Cute. Because the girl who was doing them really loves doing like nail art. So she was a bit bored doing my nails because I was just going for something plain. So I said to her, go on, go on, what do you want to do? She Spice was like, I could just do a little thing for you. I was like, go on then, it's Valentine's Day. I like to make people happy like that, you know? Yeah. Imagine you said, go on, be artistic. And she just started Hell drawing no. little willies on your, on your nails. Wait, how many years have we been married? Six and a half years. That's Pain the longest time. Painful years. You know we're half a year away from the seven year? Yeah, I know. The dreaded seven year. Yeah, apparently yeah. seven years is when couples either stay together for a long time after that or they all get divorced around the seven year mark, which is a bit mental. I think seven years seven is the year bit curse. like, oh, okay, I've, I kind of know what this is going like. I either break it or make it. Do you know what I think? I think it depends when you have kids. I think it's not a seven year thing. I think it's a kid thing. When you have kids and they, they get to a certain age, then you know. Kids is the hardest test of a relationship, for sure. Yeah, because you know you're all the way committed then. That's not why they're, that's the hardest. Well, to, to a man it is, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. To a woman, it's the hardest because you just can't juggle being a wife and a mum and be successful at both. That is why. This is how I've been filling in my bald spots, this little Dior dark brown eyeshadow. The two darkest ones, and I just go, see these bits I've got over here? I try and disguise it as much as I can with my hair. Like I spread my hair out, but then maybe I'll just fill it in a little bit every now and then. I don't know if I told you guys before, it's from when I used to pull my hair out when I was younger. And it, some of it has grown back. It used to be just like a clean, bold spot. But then I started taking Regain for women, and I've been taking it every single day for just over the past year. And it's grown back a little bit, so it's not as bold. There's like hair, but it just, it just looks like thinning rather than bald spot. So I'm happy with regain because honestly before I tried that literally nothing was working and nothing well I wasn't trying anything because I everywhere I went people were just like mm, that's just never gonna grow back just forget about it you know how's your neck doing now <laughs> mascara face well what's this protest Whoa, going what's on what's going on here oh it's the greenies wait what are they saying 
It's the greenies. Climate change. Is that Welsh? Oh, People that's so that good. They've got all the kids at the front. For the planet, peace and socialism? I don't know. Young people are so invested in the planet. That's quite good, that. It is so good. Do you know the other day I was in Primark and I was buying hair bubbles and the woman goes to me, would you like a bag? And I was like, no, no, I'll just stick it in my bag. She was like, oh, I like that. I like you. I was like, okay. And she was literally like 17. I was like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I. Then we were laughing. Then I was like, oh, you know, I'm really thinking of cutting my hair. She was like, yes, go for it. You, the youth are so like different to when I was a youth. Who the hell? Did the other person press customer services yeah. then chip? Now we're dealing with customer services. Uh, I didn't press it. <laughs> Guys, I didn't press it, bro. <laughs> Sis getting really busted. <laughs> right, see you in the ivy. Just see what I'm doing. I thought you did. Guys, I just asked Sid if he wanted to have a non alcoholic cocktail. He said it's a bit early for that, like it's got alcohol in it. You've got to play the part of it. Oh, mint hot chocolate arrived. Right there. All I can see is two bowls and something in between. <laughs> can I just be honest with you about something? Yeah. Just for a little review. This is the mint hot chocolate. It doesn't beat Greg's mint hot chocolate over Christmas time. Ooh. Dina has an acquired taste. Greg's. Greg's. <laughs> do you know a next Valentine? Let's go to Greg's. By the way, we, we never do anything for Valentine's Day. But I just wanted to oh, go to the IBM and thought this is a good excuse. It's also good excuse to like actually for me to actually get dressed. They do say that we get to I hate getting dressed. I hate getting dressed. The deco in here just reminds me of a, a posh Juno lounge. Those lights are nice. We're not anyone to talk about. Our deco in our house is kind of like this. Guys, we've just come upstairs to the loo. The toilet's all the way at the top, so you have to get the stairs, but there is a lift. But here's the dragon Sid was talking about earlier. Here it is from the top. Isn't it stunning? I want to try and get an alpha picture here. It's gorgeous. Next morning we've got frozen on the telly and we've got a bit of messy play going on because basically we still haven't got all their things out of the garage so they've only got like a limited amount of toys upstairs which I told them to bring down but they, they've forgotten this morning so by the way guys now is half term so the plan is over the half term finish the kids rooms off in it Sid basically set them up in their own beds finally with their own things their wardrobes etc so at least that's kind of done that's my goal for the half term holidays to finish that so Good morning guys! Sorry the house is still a mess. It has been two days since Valentine Day. This morning I went to the gym. Sid has now gone to his mum's house, my in-law's house. Normally I would go with them on a Sunday. But I am going to start making my way to London and I'm driving there because Tomorrow is like a special family event. Then tomorrow afternoon slash evening, I'm going to a YouTube event, a YouTube fashion event. So I'm really excited about that. What? I thought I braided my hair really well. And then you look in the camera and it's like, what love? So anyway, YouTube fashion is kind of new. That's recently launched, but last year. So it's quite exciting because I'll get to go to that and meet people. And that's just exciting because I haven't been to an event in ages. I almost decided not to go because anxiety and dumb like that but I told myself I'm going I've been on YouTube for 10 years and I want to see YouTube fashion so I think I'm gonna bring my sister with me to see so that'd be fun you'll see a bit to see so I'll see you guys in London oh by the way if I didn't mention it, I braided my hair again because tomorrow I want to do a top knot bun because I know it's absolutely peeing it down in London so I wanted to do like a style that was up I braided my hair so that my bun will have a bit of texture pretty much because I don't like buns with really straight hair I mean, I do like it, but I mean, like, I'm just not fussed, so. I'll see you lads in London! Bye! By the way, I'm wearing old school I Like Me sweatshirt. Can't believe I'd forgotten about this. I've forgotten about it because we're working on new designs. There's always still going to be the black sweatshirt, though, but it's just going to be improved. Yeah. Soon come, soon come. What are you lifting? Hang on, what's this stuff? What are you lifting? What's this stuff? You're Ooh. Oh, go on! 
Well done, buddy. Personal best. Whoa. It's by George. It's by George. Oh, do It's by George. <laughs> George. Oh my god, it's boy George. Oh my god. Hi guys. I've literally got my flash on in the back of the Uber so that you can see us. Because it's dark outside, but I look crazy. Anyway, we've had our little family thing. Basically, my brother Yusuf, the happy couple have told us that it's fine to tell people online. Basically, uh, they got married, so that was a little family thing in the morning. It's cute. The registry. And now we do see our. Are we? Are we? Yep. We're about to go into the usual event. It's just yeah, a really fashion event. We've got to get out of the cab. See you inside. <laughs> Ending the night with pizza. Pizza pilgrims. Morning guys. So I am back in Wales. Back in Cardiff. Back home. But anyway, the YouTube event, YouTube fashion event was great because YouTube fashion is fairly new. So it was quite nice to go to the event and meet a lot of YouTube content creators in the fashion field and also have a, a bit of an insight to the industry itself and how different fashion brands and houses kind of figure out what fashion content to upload for what platform because obviously it all differs so it's really good because basically i this always happens to me i always get really demotivated on the internet and then i go to an event and then suddenly i feel really motivated again so it was good in that sense and it was also really good because me and my sister tusi's outfits were actually samples of the dina Torquia collection that i'm working on it's only a six piece collection and we were wearing two of the pieces two of the jackets that are in the pieces. Yeah. Technically, what I was wearing is a jacket, which is a shirt jacket, and two C's is gonna be probably my signature trench. So I ended up accidentally doing a lot of market research at the event and during my whole one night stay in London because my brother's new in-laws were trying it on and a lot of ladies at the event were trying it on and giving me a lot of feedback. But the main thing is that there was a very positive reaction with the pieces and most people wanted it so I was very very happy with that because I haven't bought anything out in a long time obviously like literally years so it's always nerve-wracking when you actually like tell people oh this is actually my design and I'm working on getting it out so all in all very very good let me know what you guys think of those two pieces there's another four pieces that I'm very proud of there are a few little changes that I need to make like changing the color of the button changing the sizing slightly because what was really good is I tried it on a range of different women height wise and width wise the samples that we were wearing would be considered a size small so far we're going to do SML or it's going to be SM and ML and then I'm going to bring out either XL or XL slash double XL we'll see but it is quite quite difficult thing to do and to figure out I'm gonna be honest with you and it's very expensive working on a clothing line that is made in the UK but I thought it's worth doing that just so everything's quite transparent and I don't really want to mass produce anyway I don't want to get into fast I don't want to get into mass producing at all because I think there's a lot of waste that comes with it and although I do shop a lot off the high street I don't want to create any waste from in my designs whatsoever so most likely when I launch it's going to be pre-order because I don't want to make a certain amount and then try and sell it. I'd rather that if people want it they pre-order it and it takes four to five weeks to get to them because from when the order comes is from when I will then go and get my fabric and then I will then go take it to I the tailors say. in London and then it will then be shipped, packed and shipped. You know, so everything will be I'm a lot of time say. taken. Anyway, I'll wrap this up. Hannah wants I'm to say something. Say, today we're going to present house and I fell into a jelly pot. <laughs> bye bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.
for watching guys see you on the next vlog peace